I'm Secretary General in Danchurch Aid, humanitarian organization working with both emergency and long-term development and advocacy. And we are standing right in the middle of a refugee camp, a climate change refugee camp. And it's our volunteers from Danchurch Aid who raised this camp. Uh, and the meaning is that we want to show people that climate change is not a theoretical uh, problem, but it's real. For many people, millions of people are already refugees because of climate change. They can't stay in their home villages because of unstable rain, drought, or because of flooding. So th this is what we want to, to present here. It's reality for millions of people, this climate change. <laughs> My name is Pradeep Saha. I'm from India, from Center for Science and Environment. Uh, it's an environmental organization in New Delhi. We have various kinds of ecology and various kinds of ecology will be affected in various manners because of climate change. It's not that it will be, it's already, it's because a large part of coastal area in the eastern India is already uh, affected in a bad manner. This is Saudi Anwar. I'm working with the Network on Climate Change Bangladesh Index. Bangladesh is most vulnerable country in the whole world. And uh, we are susceptible for flood, a drought, cyclone, salinity surge, and so many disasters. And in the context of climate change, there are huge impact for floods, cyclone, salinity, and tidal surge. And these people have no options now for going the alternative uh, livelihood options. There are already um, uh, almost 10 million people are suffering and they are migrated from their place to the urban places and they take shelter in the slums, different sort of slums or alongside the river or uh, alongside the sea coast. So these uh, places definitely uh, has not that sort of facilities to cover their all sort of needs. But uh, for, what are the alternative options for themselves? Climate refugees is reality right now. You, you see it everywhere. You can see it in Ethiopia, how people are moving from the countryside where they have no chances to survive. They are moving to the big cities and they can stay there until they can't get food in the big cities and then they'll start moving. And I think in the coming years we'll see a lot of refugees moving from Africa, from Asia, up to countries where we still have food. Uh, according to the UN, there are already now 50 million people, 50 million climate refugees. And up till 2050, uh, the UN are, are saying that there'll be about 200 million refugee, uh, climate refugees. So it's really a, a problem and it, it's there already now. We want also to send a strong message to the politicians who are right now at the Bella Center negotiation in uh, COP15. We want to tell them, we really need you to see your own responsibility and to live up to it. And we need a fair cl climate deal here in Copenhagen so that we can stop building up more refugees because of climate change.